I need to trace some wire, some conduit in a wall, and I don't have a lot of money for those wire tracing, fancy wire tracing things, but what I have is an old AM radio, and this little component right here, let me show you a close-up. What I have here is a simple integrated circuit. It's got four legs. Uh, you can see one is plus, that's the red, minus is the, the black wire back here, and the output is this yellow and what it does is it produces one megahertz as it says right there on it and that's going that's a radio frequency that happens to be in the range of our transistor radio you can see it's set for about a thousand megahertz and we're going to tune it until this radio screams because it's going to be picking up this we're going to tune it till it screams and then i'm going to attach the other end of the yellow wire which is the output to the conduit or to the outside jacket of the coax that I'm trying to track. Now, the caveat here is never, ever, ever, ever do something like this with a, a live AC circuit. In fact, any circuit, telephone, anything that's live, forget it. Disconnect the wire before you do anything like this because you can cause fire, uh, electrocution, it's very ha hazardous, don't do it. Okay, having said that, I'm going to clip the uh, yellow wire to the conduit and hopefully it's not too well grounded and if that's an issue then I'm going to go for the outside jacket of a coaxial cable that happens to be inside there. It's an old television uh, cable. Okay, last time I did this was in a, a stucco, no it's not a stucco house, it was a uh, wood frame with sheetrock and this house is stucco over brick so I don't know how well this will go, how far the signal will penetrate and whether I'll be able to track it successfully but it's worth the experiment. Before we go off and do this, let me show you how it works. Uh, I've got the this hooked up to a 5 volt power supply, uh, but I could use batteries, what have you. In fact, it has very low draw, so that would be okay also. And I will turn on the radio and tune it. You can hear that as they get away from the wire. It goes down. And as they get closer to it, it goes up. I don't think I'm very well tuned on it. Here I have it tuned in pretty close. You can hear the announcer still in the background, but as I move it around this. This is my setup, 5 volt power supply and the uh, frequency generating chip that I showed you earlier. Well, Here's the connection. I've got it connected to this old coaxial cable. Again, no power, right? Never do this with live wiring, but it goes up into the conduit and that runs down to my chip which is producing a signal and over to my power supply. And, okay, let's get her tuned up and see if we can follow the conduit. You can see the conduit going up here. It's right about here on the box. So let's see if it'll follow it. Okay, we got her tuned up. Let's listen. Yep. So there's the conduit right there. And as I pass over it, let's make it a little louder. Hear that? Wah, 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 wah. So there's my conduit running up there. Now, somewhere up higher, it bends, and that's what I'm going to go looking for. But Okay, well, that's, uh, that's it for uh, DIY uh, conduit or wire tracker. I hope you find it useful and helpful in your own DIY home projects.